On the table, it's Lego Minecraft, the trading post. Hi guys, it's Trader Dan at Squirrel Stampede, and we are building the third of the December 1st, 2020 Minecraft Lego builds. The trading post, lots to do and trade at this post. We better get all our items ready to make some exchanges, so let's start building. This squishy drink is warm. Worst transaction ever. The claw has chosen you! Squirrel Stampede! Please swipe, subscribe, and squamant! On the table, Lego Minecraft, set number 21167, the trading post. 201 pieces, included a skeleton, Steve, Trader Llama number 1, Wandering Trader, and Trader Llama number 2. And the haystacks will fly on the back of the box, this trading post packed with antics. Inside the box, a book of instructions. This here bag one of pieces. This here bag two of pieces. Well, we have much to trade at the post of trading. Let's get constructing.
that they're built the trading post. What can we say about this very cute little small scale build? It's a trading post right next to possibly a cave entrance and a skeleton has made its first appearance. Steve's head is switched up right now. I guess he's looking for a new one. There's the back of the trading post. And we've got a little exploding feature back here. Press this button and explosions ago and then back around to the front of the trading post. So a very basic build with this one. Our key element to this set is all about the wandering trading villager back here. There he is. And of course the wandering trading village has his two llamas ready to help him on his way. A huge miss not having the trading llama hooked up by leads. I think it would have been really simply done. The blue tiles on the back of the llamas could have had the one stud in the center and just connected by a small short stud thread assembly thingy and then maybe attached to the villager's back or something. So a huge miss there. I suppose they figured removing that feature and just having a trading post was the way to go, but I really want to hook up my llama. I'm going to have to custom that myself, I guess. So our trading villager all in blue. This pretty much is a new minifigure for your skinned Minecraft minifigures collection, and he stands behind the desk at the trading post. The trading post does have a fun little quick action feature. Now let's get this guy straight. That's better. The trading post has a fun little quick action feature with a rotating front desk. So when Steve walks up to buy a new head with a emerald, we'll just rotate the desk around to show what the villager is trading today. Steve's body indicates he wants the head up top. And it appears the villager has approved the trade. So a pretty basic themed set. I think they did okay with the trading post side of the set. The mine entrance feels kind of like a waste of theme. I would have liked to have seen the trading post expanded to feature more shelving, more items to trade, maybe even like a small village house here. There's just so many sets that always end with one little railway piece, and this over here just, just doesn't feel that great and interesting. Although this site does feel like it's based off the adobe themed desert biome, so that would be kind of a cool set to see someday. We don't often see the reddish badlands appear in the LEGO set. It does lock in really well design wise though with the Illager Raid themed sets from early 2020. This is what I would have rather seen right next to the mineshaft. So if you collected the Illager Raid then this is perfect to add on the trading post. Hey, wasn't this the site of like a horrible explosion in Steve, Alex, and Maybelline the movie? What's up with that? So that's all we can really say about the trading post. It's a very small set at 200 pieces. It's what it is. We have some possible red and yellow wool up top to trade, or what else could that be? There's a little twig bush growing out of the desert, torch in front of the mine, so pretty basic. Oh, Steve has an iron sword. And maybe one more time looking at the llamas. I suppose the llamas are the real highlight of this set. A llama in white and a llama in tan. So that makes up the three December 1st, 2020 LEGO Minecraft sets. I suppose you can classify these as 2021 sets too because a few more sets are on their way very soon. Out of the three, we've got the trading post again, obviously, and then we have the abandoned mine, in quotes. And then we have the bee farm. We almost can swing the abandoned mine around here, I wonder, and combine the two because there's also a railway tile in the back, so you can kind of lock these in maybe. Although it's a shift in biomes pretty quickly. And then maybe we swing the bee farm around over onto this side. And lock in some of the water features right there. That would be one of many different ways to combine these three sets. Hard to get a good angle though because everything is going in different directions. My favorite out of the three sets has to be the bee farm. It feels like the most unique new theme of the three sets. There's a ton of bees involved. I'm glad they included eight bees and a beekeeper with a skin. Just looks fantastic. Awesome little feature too with these spinning bees. So I can't say enough good things about the bee farm. As for the abandoned mine, which we built in a live build about a week or two ago, if you want a real fun build, 
watch the live build in slow motion compared to the usual fast. I think the abandoned mine is great if you never have bought a mine set before. What's kind of cool about LEGO Minecraft is every couple years they release another mine themed set like this size and scale. The previous one with the baby zombie, then I believe there was a dungeon like one, and then really really far back to the first LEGO Minecraft set that I reviewed was a cave set. So they're pretty cool if you're just getting into LEGO Minecraft. You get a spider, you get a zombie, you get... Oh, here's Steve. He's standing above this trap. How do we work the trap again? We pull this back block here and some gravel falls on the poor zombie's head. Also a slime cube and a little web there. So it's a great little set, but it kind of feels redone. So if you've seen this several times, then the better of the two sets would be the trading post. Because you get that really cool wandering villager and the two llamas. I just, just wish this was a little different over here. The whole point of trading villager is trade, so there should have been lots of fun items to trade. But it is a small scale set, so why complain? These are usually very easy to afford and pick up at around $20, sometimes on sale for even less. And that's why all three of these sets are just fantastic to collect. Looking forward to the other 2021 sets, we've got the Pig House right around the corner. I've already acquired it. A pretty awesome early find. We'll be showing that off in early January. And there's also the small size coral reef build that will be fun to see too. So more fun with LEGO Minecraft 2021. Look out for any of these three sets now, December 1st, 2020. I found them at Walmart, either on an island display, sometimes right up at the front of the store, and pretty much everywhere in 2021. What's fun about these three is from many different angles. It's kind of fun to get these three sets and combine them and look at them now. They work very well together. And that would be the LEGO Minecraft trading post. What a build! I thought it was pretty fun. If you liked today's video, please give us a squeak, a squirrel live, and a squamant so we can talk all about great trades that are made at the trading post. Thanks for watching, that's what I have to say about that.